Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Victoria and welcome to Pembroke Beauty. So today I did this really fun um, kind of cat eye like blue fun makeup look, halo eye kind of deal. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look and you want to catch up on what's been going on in my life, etc., then just keep watching. Good morning. What's going on, you guys? What is the haps? What is the 411? Um, the world is imploding. So let's do some makeup and we'll talk. Great. So um, I am going to do like a um, chitty chatty. Get ready with me. And we're going to do some like kind of blue tones because I feel like it. So yeah. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer. It's really nice. Um, I need to give a little shout out to uh, the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. Oh my god. That stuff is amazing. Can we just talk about it? I'm not trying to go for that much coverage today or else I'd use it, but I mean, they know what they're doing over there. It's incredible. If you're looking for a high coverage, super inexpensive concealer, check this one out. The yeah, Liquid Camouflage Catrice. Wow. Um, so let's address the elephant in my room currently. Um, these things on either side of my mouth. I don't know what's going on. First of all, my skin is not pleased. And then additionally, those things are like... Um, like, you know how, like, when the corners of your mouth get really dry and then they, like, kind of crack open? That's what happened. And I have not been able to, like, get it to stop doing that. Because it's like when you bite your lip or, like, bite the inside of your mouth. And then, like, every time you chew, you just, like, bite it again because it's inflamed. It's kind of where I'm at with this. And it's super annoying, so... I'm sorry that I'm ugly, is I guess what I'm saying. I'm ugly and I'm proud. So I'm just going to gently set my face with the CoverGirl Clean Matte um, Powder. Uh, I just want to set down underneath my eyes. Okay, so now that I've addressed that and we have talked about what I'm putting on my face, let's talk about some fun stuff. So, um, well, I'm first going to bronze with this combination right here. It's amazing. So good. Um, but yeah, so it's getting to be finally warmer outside and I just love summer you guys it's just the absolute best and I know that we're not quite there yet but we're getting there and it feels summery outside at least where I am at uh, not every day but most days it's pretty warm and I've been able to go out and kind of tan a bit and yeah we did a lot of gardening this weekend and did a lot of house cleaning and such. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting to feel a little bit more motivated, which is good. Um, took some time off there, not being that motivated. And so yeah, so Tyler actually um, helped me last weekend, Memorial Day weekend, to really get into the basement. So I think I told you guys, let's kind of recap. So actually about a year ago now, today, which is insane. Uh, well, not today specifically, but like almost a year ago to the date. Um, we bought a house and I did a video on it um, forever ago. And I said forever ago that I would be posting a like house um, update video of like the before and after of like all the renovation stuff that we did. So I'm going in with the Starfire blush palette. And I'm going to go something kind of like extra super warm. So I'm going to go into the super bright one and then this one as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we, I said that I would do that forever ago. And here we are like a year later and have yet to post that video. However, I have good reason. It's because we haven't finished. <laughs> um, so I told you guys in other previous videos as well that 
I am a high school volleyball coach, and so we moved in, we went to Italy, and it was insanity, and then we came back, and we had a lot of struggles with the house. Um, we had floods, we had breakages of things, like, it was just insane, the amount of, like, stuff we had to do with it, and the little amount of time I had to deal with that and same with him he's going to school part-time and working full-time and I'm also working full-time and working part-time at like coaching and so that was our lives for a long time we had to redo a whole wall in the basement it was so much you guys so with that we didn't really have time to full-on fix up things and so we've been slowly kind of gathering stuff and I have been filming things as we've been renovating and I have been gathering all of that footage so that eventually when I make that video and post it you guys can see what we did however that is the reason why that's taken so long to get up and anyway it doesn't super matter I guess what I'm saying though is like we took a lot of time off from doing that because we were both so done with it. Like, we just got to a point where we were like, I don't even wanna look at it anymore. So pretty much everything that we owned got shoved into the basement. Like everything that we owned that we didn't know what to do with. So it wasn't really great. Um, and so we ended up with a ton of stuff down there that we don't need and um, we finally, this weekend, went through it and got rid of a lot of stuff. So I'm going to use the Zodiac Love Signs palette from BH Cosmetics today. And I'm going to first go in and highlight with the highlighter in the center. It's such a beautiful highlighter. Like, you guys, it's really good. So I'm just going to take my Lexi 660 highlight all over my face. Oh, you saw that. This highlight is insane. It really is. So yeah, like I said, my skin is not doing great, so don't judge me today. We are not in a great place with the skin right now. This is actually not that bad compared to how it has been. It's been really, really bad recently. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so we finally were able to make some headway on that. And it's like, thank God, because it was to the point where like both of us would just think about going into the basement like to do anything down there and it was like neither of us wanted to even approach the problem because it was so much you know like when it's kind of overwhelmingly bad and you're like I don't even know where to start so I'm not going to we finally started and it was really rewarding now it's really nice down there I mean it's not finished but we have a lot more space to move things around and we kind of have a plan of what we're going to use that space for and so moving forward, it's gonna be a lot easier to finish it. And then, pretty much once we finish that, we want to try and refinish our deck. So our deck needs resurfacing for sure. And I mean, it's not a bad deck. It's a really pretty deck, like shape-wise and stuff like that, but it needs a lot of work because the wood is like old and original. And I mean, it's been stained and sealed and stuff but it, it's been a while and it needs an update so we want to do something like the trucks or whatever not necessarily that but like the like the kind that doesn't really get bad like it's kind of like the plasticky I don't know how else to say it it's not plastic but it's like the composite is that right that might be the word um so yeah so we're gonna try and do that and we're gonna try and diy it ourselves i don't know if that's a terrible idea but we're gonna try and do it because it's already expensive um so we don't really want to spend like a ton of ton of money on it um <laughs> to have somebody like come out and do it and I, honestly i believe in us i think that we could do it but we first have to get the right amount of things like right amount of decking parts etc so like i said we're gonna do some blue stuff today so I'm gonna first go in with the lightest like turquoisey shade in here. It's the matte shade. And so all the matte shades in this don't have names, so you're just gonna have to follow along. And I'm just gonna put that in our crease. But yeah, 
yeah, so that's kind of our plan trying to move forward after we kind of get the basement a little bit more in order. But right now, like, I'm so proud of us for doing that. And that means that I can then clean out this beauty room that I have and kind of like get this a little bit more in order. And then I'll be able to do like a beauty room tour for you guys and it'll just be a lot nicer. It's just really exciting. So yeah, and we have done some other stuff and made plans for other things. So we have gone, we went yesterday actually, and we went to the like nursery or whatever. And we got some tomato plants and we got a cucumber plant and we got some herbs and a spider plant and cats and kittens. They're so cute. And yeah, we planted them yesterday. It's just really exciting. So yeah. And we, so I don't know if you guys know this, but, um, so the house that we moved into has a lot of things already in place growing like vegetables and stuff. So we have blueberry bushes, we have, I'm just going in with a slightly smaller brush in that same shade and I'm just gonna put it underneath of my eyes. Um, but yeah, it has blueberry bushes, we have a peach tree, like a small little one that's really cute. Um, we have rosemary growing that I planted last year actually. And we have grapes and we have a fig tree. So yeah, so it's kind of cool. And then we'll have tomatoes and cucumbers and other um, herbs. And I have an avocado plant that we planted forever ago. And he's actually sitting on my kitchen table because um, it's too cold for him outside. But yeah, so it's kind of fun. If you guys ever wanted me to do like a garden kind of tour or like talk about gardening, I am not an expert by any means, but I could show you around if you'd be interested, but I don't know if you'd be interested in that. Um, so I'm going to go in now with a smaller brush and I'm gonna dive into the deeper blue shade that is matte. And I'm gonna kinda do like a halo eye today. I think I wanna do that. Actually, I'll go in with this brush for right now. This is an Alamar brush. It's kinda like a really small flat brush. And I'm gonna go into the deeper kind of teal shade right here also matte. I'm going to tap off the excess and kind of build that in the outer and inner corner. But yeah, so we did that yesterday and that was actually really nice and we both had a good time and we want to do some more indoor planting as well. And so we were thinking that we would do like, um, kind of like a like right at the top of our stairs we have like a landing and then a little wall that we don't have anything on so we were talking about potentially making that into like a plant wall kind of deal so we haven't fully decided what we're gonna do but I think we're gonna try and work on it this week I still need to get some plants there's a lot of indoor plants that are out of stock right now because I think everybody's doing this which uh, so yeah so there's not like a lot of availability I guess but that is kind of what we want to do and kind of our goal. So should be fun. I'm excited. I think it's going to look really good because we didn't really have a plan for that wall, like what we wanted to put in it. And so that would be a good something to put there. And then we could put it up kind of high because the ceiling is really high in that spot because it's like the top of our stairs. Um, and then the cats wouldn't be able to eat them. So yeah, what are you guys doing in your quarantine? Are you also planting? Are you trying to garden? Do you want to know the herbs we bought? I'll tell you what they are. We got chives, we got, well I had rosemary like I said. We got a, um, basil, and we got cilantro. Because I wanted to be able to make guacamole or salsa with our tomatoes that were growing. And I thought that, that would be a good idea. So now I'm going to blend that out because it looks like sharp right now. So I'm just gonna take the little brush that we were using for our lower lash line with no extra product on it. And I'm just going to kind of do circular motions on the areas where we just put down that darker blue. And I'm kind of trying to pull that out a bit. So it's almost winged, kind of. That's what we've been up to at least the last couple weekends. And it's really, it's really rewarding, I feel like 
like I've accomplished something, which is nice. So, here's some advice. If you have a room in your house, or an area in your room that you avoid because you don't know where to start, just start. And if that means that you have to take like a 10 minute break in the middle to get some food, or figure out what you're gonna do, or just stop looking at it, then do that. You can do that. You don't have to do it all, all in one sitting, but try and do a good amount and try and finish it. Or at least have a game plan for the next day so that you can finish it. Because it really does make a world of a difference when you can really look at something and be like, I accomplished that, I finished it, I made progress, I went through my nail polishes, or I went through my books and decided which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm not. Especially with what is happening right now, like to feel accomplished about something positive in your life that you can control is really important. So I challenge you to do that today or tomorrow or this weekend. Pick a day and go through something that you have. Clean your car. Decide to go out and clean it. Go through everything that's in there and throw away stuff that you don't need and that's trash because we all know that you have like 18 water bottles in there that you don't need or 83 napkins that you've used that you don't need anymore that you didn't throw away but you threw it in the back seat because you didn't know what else to do with it or shoved it in your glove compartment because you were like uh, I'll deal with it later and you never dealt with it. There's no judgment here. I went through my car when I got a flat tire a couple months ago and threw away like the most likely, this is not exaggerating, at least 85 gas receipts that I had collected over the last four years. Why do I have them? Why? I'm not gonna do anything with them. I have no intention of doing anything with them, but I kept them because I felt like I had to, which is stupid. So now I'm just going to take the big fluffy brush we first used and just kind of go over the whole thing. Really try and blend all of that out, make it really nice and smooth and blown out. So you guys, if, I ha if you have been keeping up with my chitty chatty videos, then you would have seen that I started um, the Outer Banks a couple weeks ago. And okay, so uh, let me walk you through what I thought. So. I started it and I was like, okay, yeah, I mean, it's fine. No big deal. And then I got farther and farther and farther in and the more I watched, the more I really liked it. And so I slowly got very addicted to it. And yeah, by the end I was like, I don't want it to be over. So I highly recommend, especially if you like, like, to me it's kind of like Riverdale-y. It's not that cringe, but it's kind of like teen drama meets like the Goonies almost because of um, events in there that I don't want to ruin for you if you are not uh, aware of what goes on in it. I'm going to go with this flat kind of uh, tart brush and I'm going to go into Capricorn which is the lightest turquoisey shade. I'm going to plant this in the center of our lid. Oh my god, these shadows are so good. I feel like BH is really underrated. They just came out with a new avocado toast and like mimosa something palette to like two new palettes and those are so pretty. I really want to get them. Yeah, if there's any new makeup that you guys see that you think I'd be interested in, tag me in it because I don't really have anything new and I kind of want to get some new stuff, but there's not a whole lot of new launches happening. What do you guys think of the Jeffree Star cremated palette? I personally was not super into it, especially after, okay, so you guys need to go watch, if you haven't watched it, you need to go watch my um, review of the Bloodlust palette, which is like my more recent palette review for Jeffree Star. I did it with my mom. Yeah, I have a lot of opinions. So if you're interested, you should go watch that. But yeah, so that was one of the reasons why I was like kind of curious about that new palette because to me, I don't know, is it worth the 
thousands of dollars that they make you spend on it. I'm going to go into a little bit of Scorpio on that same brush on the back of it and then into a little bit of the highlighter shade as well. And just kind of really place that like right in the center center to kind of give that like a cool kind of shift. I'm going to go in with one of my little e.l.f. concealer brushes, the really skinny ones. And then we will go into the middle shade is again and highlight our inner corners. And then I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of Scorpio on top of that. Ooh, so my mom got us a um, Ninja blender for my birthday, like as a combined birthday because our birthdays are so close. And um, we made... We used it for the first time yesterday. We made a, um, like a frozen coffee drink. Like you kind of would get like a frozen coffee at Dunkin'. I'm not really a Frappuccino girl. I'm more of a Dunkin'. Well, first of all, so I used to work at Starbucks in case you guys didn't know that. Um, but yeah, I used to work at Starbucks and honestly, after working there, blah, I can't like Starbucks is not my thing. I don't mind it, but it's definitely not my, it is not my coffee place of choice. And so I'm much more of a Dunkin' girl and, um, I, I'm going to use this NYX professional, uh, mm, as your eyeliner and put that in my waterline. Um, but yeah, so I'm much more of a Dunkin' girl and so their frozen coffees are really good and I really like them, but because I'm super paranoid about Corona, I refuse to go out and get any carry out because I'm anxiety ridden. Um, so I figured out almost how to make it from home and it turned out really good. So if you guys would want to see how to do that or my like pseudo recipe of how to do it. I could do that for you, but I need to know that you want to see it. So let me know down below. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I almost want to do some liner. So maybe I will. My eyeliner is super dried up, which is why I've been kind of avoiding doing eyeliner recently, but maybe I'll try and do it today and not fork it up. We'll see. Okay. Oh, this is rough. I have another eyeliner I can use. Okay, you know what? Let's try and use this. This is the Ciate London Fierce Flicks um, pen liner. Honestly, you guys know I'm not a huge pen liner kind of gal. It's not my deal. I prefer the brush tip, but we're going to try it simply because I don't have any other. Ooh, this is a little dry. I don't know, you guys. This might have been a mistake. Mind you, this is very old. I haven't really used it, but it is older, so. Jesus Christ. This is horrid. I can't use it. Okay, so we're not using that. This needs to be thrown away. So we have the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which, again, I'm not really a huge fan of this. We'll try it. Mm. Guys, I hate it. This is why I hate it because it dries out so easily and then you can't use it anymore. This is why I don't recommend this. I don't recommend this. I don't recommend it. This is why I don't like pen liners in general because they suck. Oh my god. I can't even do look at oh Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going back to my NYX one. And even though it's almost completely dry, it's going to be better than these. So irritated. So I'm kind of wrapping the underside of my eye almost in eyeliner as well. 
can you can see it better there kind of connecting it underneath I need to fix this corner because that freaking cap on the liner sucks but I'll fix that um, and I'm going to go on to the inner corner as well and do the little inner wing as well so now I'm definitely going to apply lashes okay so as you can see it looks so good um, so yeah, so I added the lashes I talked about and then I used the uh, Milani Highly Rated to mesh my real lashes with the fake ones and I actually added, so this is a Tarte Foil Finger Paints Shadow Palette. It's, this is an absolutely beautiful palette. I don't get to use it enough, um, but I used this glitter shade, this like iridescent looking one, like you can see me in the reflection. Um, I use this iridescent shade. It's called Stargazer, but um, and I just kind of tapped that right on the center of my lid. I didn't use a lot of it, but I did use a little to add a little bit of like actual glitters. And yeah, so now I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. You guys know. I don't even have to say it. So I kind of did like, I kind of put my lashes on a little farther out, so it would be kind of like cat eye like like how I did in my fox eye tutorial which I will link there um but yeah I'm going to use the ColourPop ultra blotted lip and soda pop this is like a pinkish kind of nudie tone but I like that it's kind of sheer because it's a blotted lip all right so there's that and then I think I want to put a cooler toned gloss on top so I think I'll go with the so juicy um lip gloss from ColourPop and I will, this is in roundabout. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked hanging out with me. Um, and if you do recreate this look, definitely tag me and let me know. Uh, comment any suggestions you have for me down below and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. And I just want to say right before I go, I hope you guys are okay. I hope that you guys are all hanging in. I know this is a crazy time in the world right now. Um, I think there's a lot of things that need to be addressed and need to be fixed in this world and you know I hope that we can do that and accept everybody and be fair and equal so stay safe I'll see you in my next one bye